Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60, and I've just got to say it, man, it looks good, this 335. So I still haven't actually driven the car with these brakes yet, but I'm hoping that I'll get a chance to get off the hoist today and see what it feels like. Uh, if you're following along for the brakes, just to give you a bit of an update, we did bleed them the other day. Um, they feel really good when the engine's not running, but as soon as you've got that, uh, v the vacuum assist on the brakes, they do feel a bit spongy. Now, it could be just the placebo of me expecting to have issues, or it could be that they're actually softer. Uh, we'll know once we take it for a drive. But while I've put the wheels on, I thought, man, she just looks good. And let's be real, a big part of doing these brakes was the looks. Um, but yeah, I'm just pretty damn happy with how she's come up. I did actually have it down on the ground when I tightened up the lug nuts and with the wheels sitting where they should be. She looks tight. Um, but it got me thinking as I'm standing back and looking at it, this car, when I bought these wheels secondhand, they had a black carbon fiber uh, center cap and it looked okay, but a couple of them were a bit faded. And a little while ago, I ordered fresh, I mean, they're Chinese ones, of course, being this car, but fresh BMW center caps, which I want to get fitted. And when I did that video a couple of oh, weeks ago, it was on fitting the floor mats and the gear knob, I asked everyone, sorry, I asked everyone um, for ideas on other things to do to help improve the looks of this car. And quite a lot of guys actually said the grills, and they're one of the cheapest things to do, so that was the first thing I bought. I have here a set of the F80 style M3 grills with the, the dual bars, so we'll try and get them fitted today as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully when it drops down off this hoist, she'll be looking way more gangster than it does currently. And yeah, I've just done a fresh coat of my Meguiar's hybrid ceramic. It is looking good. Let's get straight in. I'm gonna fit the center caps first and then we will get onto the grills. So I did give the wheels a good clean inside and out. Uh, that's probably the cleanest they've looked since I got them. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to sort of finish the look with some new center caps. Now, I cannot remember how much these center caps were, but they were cheap. Obviously, being aftermarket ones, they might not fit the wheel. Maybe they just, whoa. Come on. Get in your home. Jeez, fuck. Hm. Oh. Weird, you buy a cheap product and it just doesn't work like you expect it to. They must have made it of plastic that was too high a quality. It doesn't want to bend and go in its little hole. Come on. God. It's going to need the persuader. It's unexpected for a center cap. Good luck stealing that, anyone. I'd say that doesn't fit properly. <laughs> oh, quality. That's shit. Okay, don't buy those center caps. So I just thought I'd show you guys what we're dealing with here. Uh, definitely not happy with that. And it's annoyed me that the BMW down doesn't line up with the M. Um, I do have another set of wheels which I might go and nick the center caps from because it's just a real shitty fitment. I won't be putting a link to where you buy them, but it appears the difference is in the design. This is using the plastic only to clamp it in its little hole, where these are also, these are the ones that were on the wheels, um, but they've got the metal ring, which is obviously a much, much better design. Yeah, it's the right diameter, it just doesn't sit nicely in the wheel. Not always a win, but I might go grab those other ones. I'll be back. Okay, so I went and got the center caps out of my other wheels, the copper ones, if you've been on the channel for a long time. Um, they're in pretty good nick. They're only on the car for sort of three or four months. So they can make their way to this one. The ones that I was fitting, they were like one of the cheaper ones on Amazon or eBay, and they're just a shitty, just a crappy design. They are the right diameter, but the way they clip in is just not right. And it does have both a Lexus and a BMW logo. So if you're looking at buying cheap center caps from eBay or Amazon, make sure it's the version that's got the spring on the back. 
not the really basic one. So let's see if the these ones go in a bit better. Perfect. Much, much better. All right, let's get the other ones on. So four center caps are on. I think it looks a lot better with the blue logo, not the black. Now, I do run a lot of cheap, cheap parts, and with that comes crappy quality, but I can deal with it as long as you sort of get what you pay for. But I am also a bit OCD when I can. And that M badge is upside down compared to the other three. Um, so I need to get a set of those emblems. If you guys know a good place to get the M emblem from, they'll actually fit since my buying the badges was a bit of a fail, that'd be great. Uh, the other thing I wanted to quiz you guys about, if you look in there now, so the wheel looks pretty good, apart from where the previous owner parked with it. Uh, the wheel looks pretty good. Calipers will look good once I get the logo changed. Center caps are fixed but my wheel bolts look manky as hell. They're all rusty and crappy. Um, now, quite a few guys have mentioned getting a, like a stud conversion, and I'm just not sold on it. I don't like the look of the studs with nuts. I'd rather bolts. That's just me. I know they do make putting the wheels on easier, but even, I don't think I'm ever gonna be like chucking the wheels on in a rush on this car. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'll always be taking care so I don't hit the caliper or the rotor or something. So wheel fitment's not really an issue for me. I'm always going to take care. Um, the other thing is, for the cost of a set of, uh, for the cost of a stud conversion, I could probably get a wheel spacer kit. So what do you guys think? Should I space the wheels out a bit? Once we get it out, I might show you what they look like lip to um, lip to guard. But I'm thinking about getting some wheel spacers, and of course they will come with extended bolts, which will fix my rusty problem. All right, let's get onto the grills. Okay, so. Let's hope that we have a smoother run fitting the new grills than we did the <laughs> new center caps. I haven't actually done grills on an E92, although I'm hoping they're the same as the old E60 that we have. So that should hopefully give me enough access to get the clips out. Oh. And she's out. Yeah, it is just the same sort of setup. Right, uh, before I go too far, let's make sure these actually fit. They do appear to be the right grill. What I might just do is give that little manky section a quick wipe out. No one likes a manky section. This is just a quick detailer. So she's all nice and clean. Let's try and fit the new one. And we should be able to have a bit of a decent comparison. Ooh, ow. That's snapped in securely. Now let's get my fingerprints off it. Yeah, I dig it. It's a bit, it's a bit rice, but since we can't afford an F80 M3, that'll do. I like it. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. You probably go, you guys probably don't need to watch me for this. Might time lapse it. I thought I'd record it clicking in since the last one clicked in so hard it nearly clicked my finger off. There it is. They're not going to fall out, those things. Definitely not. Hell yeah. They were pretty cheap. I can't remember how much they were, but I remember thinking that's just no money. It was like a round of drinks. I will put a link to those in the description because I think that's a pretty cheap way to modernize the front of your E92 if you're not going for purest qualities. I really like that updated grill look. Let me know below what you think. If you think I should put the other ones back on, I'll leave it with that one, but I'm kind of digging it. 
I, I do want to try and modernize it a little bit. It's making sort of modern power. Man, the wheels and the brakes look sick. All right, I think we need to get it down on the ground, get it outside and get some decent photos of it. See what it looks like. Oh, damn. That is sick. The grills, I like it. Oh, I just missed the sun. Damn, the sun on the rotors looks good. Sorry about the shadows. In the back, even though these are cheap, shitty wheels, it's got some concave. Damn, the, the rotors look so good. Damn, I'm pretty, pretty lucky to have this thing. Well guys, we've got the center caps on, the grills. With those brakes, it is looking damn, damn good. Now, I am about to take the car for the first drive with those brakes, so if you want to know what they're like, make sure you're subscribed to see the next video. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked with how it's looking. Uh, just following up, as I started, as I stated earlier, what do you guys reckon? Wheel spacers or wheel bolts? Sorry, wheel studs. I think, I think the wheels need to be spaced out a little bit. I'm thinking like 10 mil, 10 mil. Let me know what you think below. Um, yeah, and actually, the only other thing that I have ordered, uh, styling-wise, I've ordered one of those leather steering wheel trim covers, which I've actually received. So yeah, if you've got any other ideas, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna buy the guard flashes, but I can't decide whether to go clear or smoked guard flashes, because uh, those ones are just kind of a bit yellow. But yeah, I still wanna work on this and get it looking even better than it is now, although I think that thing looks effing sexy. I can't believe how good the brakes look. All right, guys, look, thank you very much for watching. Hope this wasn't too boring for you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and take it for a drive, see what those brakes feel like, and you'll know all about it in tomorrow's video. Team N54. GoPro, stop recording.